Hi everybody! So can you even believe that it is Project for Awesome time already? If you don't know what the Project for Awesome is, I'll put some information down in the description, but basically it's a big charity event here on YouTube where tons of people make videos about their favorite charities and then we all vote on them and there's this Indiegogo. It's um, it's this big thing. Uh -huh. Just read the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. So most of the videos you see today will just be someone sitting and talking about a charity, which is great. There's always room for more videos videos about charities on YouTube, but this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to be showing you a book themed DIY while I talk about the Library Foundation of Los Angeles. I'm going to be turning a Harry Potter book into a fully removable Monsters Book of Monsters book cover. It's a really easy project that would make a really fun gift and I've got a lot to say about libraries while we make this, so let's get started. Oh, but first, if you like this video, please make sure to click the link in the description to vote for this video on the Project for Awesome website so that maybe this charity can get a cut of the Project for Awesome earnings. All right, now for real, let's get started. So where do I even start about how important libraries are to the community? Obviously, they provide books to anybody who wants to read them, but they also provide computer access, homework help, cultural events, reading clubs, adult literature classes. In this day and age that's so obsessed with consumerism and profits and money, the library is kind of a safe haven that provides knowledge to anybody who seeks it out, no matter their financial situation. When you think about it, it's kind of amazing that there's still a place where you can just go and borrow things for free. Whether it's books, magazines, DVDs, CDs, some libraries even offer baking trays, video games, passes to local museums. So I like supporting charities that are local to me. Last year I talked about The Book Truck, which is another fantastic literary charity here in Los Angeles, and I'll link my video about them right down below. But this year I'm supporting the Library Foundation of Los Angeles, which helps fund the Los Angeles Public Library. They work alongside the city's support of the libraries, which, let's be real, when it comes to bureaucracy and deciding how to spend tax dollars, libraries aren't always number one on the list. But the Library Foundation has raised almost $125 million so far, which have just gone into making the libraries a fantastic resource. Reading is just so, so important, especially for kids, and libraries kind of level the playing field no matter matter what the kids' family's income level is. Plus, here in Los Angeles, where the entertainment industry is such a huge part of so many people's lives, books are kind of more important than ever. On the one hand, you have kids of the most famous celebrities in the world who have more money than they know what to do with, and they could probably use some solid footing by getting lost in a good book. And on the other hand, you have a very large, low-income community, and for them, the libraries might be one of their only resources for books and computer use outside of school. So I did my research, and Charity Navigator gives the Library Foundation 4 out of 4 stars. I'll be donating $100 of my own money to them, which honestly, I probably should be giving more because if I'm gonna do the 50 book challenge again next year, I will be utilizing the library so much, so I'm not spending all my money on new books every month. Even if you're not in Los Angeles, I definitely encourage you to donate to your own local library and also to look into what other community programs they might offer besides just lending books. Remember, as one of the wisest voices of our generation said, Having fun isn't hard if you've got a library card. So I hope I've made my pitch for you. Supporting libraries isn't the most groundbreaking charity in the world, but they're just so important. I hope you like seeing how to make this Monster Book of Monsters book cover while listening to me harp on about how great libraries are. The best part about this is that it's completely removable and it doesn't damage the book underneath, so you can make it for pretty much any hardcover book and it would make a really great gift especially if you're giving it to a kid who's reading Harry Potter for the first time. How cute would that be? God, can you even imagine not having read Harry Potter when you were a kid? If you were a kid when they first came out. I literally don't know what my life would look like if I didn't 
have a love of books cultivated at such a young age. All right, I'm gonna let you get back to watching all the other fantastic Project for Awesome videos out there. Please remember to click the link in the description and vote for my video if you think the Library Foundation of Los Angeles deserves a cut of the Project for Awesome earnings. And let me know in a comment what is the best book that you read this year because I still have about five books left to read for the 50 book challenge and I could use some suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Project for Awesome!